We're talking with John Waters about the Bright Automotive Bright Idea, which is a plug-in hybrid commercial van. And here we have it from the front. We'll take a, a bit of a look at it here. So, John, tell us a little bit about the genesis of this car and take a walk around it and you can tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, it's been, uh, the vehicle's been purpose-built for commercial and government fleet owners and operators. And so uh, you'll see a lot of features in the vehicle that help folks do their job on a daily basis easier and more efficiently. In engineering terms, ergonomically. So uh, we'd be happy to show you some of those features. Okay. Walk around here to the inside. And you'll notice, first off, that the, the floor itself is all fully uh, comprised of recycled tires that were thrown away into landfills, if you would. And we've uh, made those into an industrial floor mat for um, an industrial driver and owner and operator of the vehicles I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. You also notice the door itself has been designed to have a, a minimal, uh, minimalist view of uh, applying aesthetics to the vehicle door inner. Uh, this material here is a synthetic leather that's made out of pop bottles and diapers that used to go into landfill. Now that we recycle through the help of Johnson Controls interior systems in a, in a very fashionable way. Uh, the, you also notice there's a lot of raw aluminum left on the door. We did that for design purposes. And again, the lightweighting, low cost uh, benefit, huge pockets for uh, carrying uh, huge things for these uh, commercial drivers, for whether it be from personal goods such as uh, lunch boxes or um, professional instruments and tools that they might be able to, to use. And this vehicle weighs 3,200 pounds. Yeah, the final record for the vehicle is the, is the lightest in this class, a 3,200-pound vehicle that um, compares uh, against vehicles that are 5,000 pounds and higher. Uh, so the, the magic of the vehicle is this lightweight, it's aerodynamics, which reduces the cost of the battery content on the vehicle, which gives us this total cost of ownership equation that's very uh, economically justified by any commercial fleet owner and operator that drives you know, 50 to 80 miles a day. That must be quite a challenge, lightweighting a vehicle when you have a battery pack because the batteries are so heavy. Yeah, it's, it's a challenge if you start, uh, it's easier if you start from a clean sheet of paper. It's actually almost impossible to start with existing platforms, such as a heavy steel platform, and try to lightweight it and then add the batteries because it's, yeah. it just doesn't justify itself. But if you can do things from a whole systems perspective, and I'd be happy to show you some more illustrations of how we've reduced the cost in, this, in the lightweight of the vehicle. Well, let's take a look inside. Uh, okay. you, you, you have a unique design of the passenger seat, which since this is mostly, mostly being driven by a uh, single operator, the uh, passenger seat folds down for use as a mobile office. Yeah, you know, Jim, what we found was 95% of the time our drivers drive solo. And so this seat is never uh, hardly used on a, on a monthly basis. And so we made it, first of all, a, more of a jump seat um, uh, design, similar to an airplane jump seat. So it's very lightweight, very low cost. And then when it's not being utilized, what's important for these drivers is to be able to have full access to the street if necessary without going into, I'm sorry, access to the sidewalk without going into the street uh, for safety reasons. So once they go back and forth making their deliveries or doing their tasks, they can come back in and uh, fold down the back of the seat, which turns into a full desk. Oh, that is cool. Allows, uh, with cup holders. With cup holders, two <laughs> dual big gulps. You can stick, again, more materials and folders in here if you needed uh, that to happen. So it's, it's really a nice design that allows uh, a, lot of, a lot of great things to happen. There's also um, uh, electric jacks right here. You may not be able to videotape that, but there's two 12-volt jacks and a, and a full 110-volt jack for plugging in your chargers, your battery units, uh -huh. whatever it might be. Let's uh, take a look at the cargo area. Cause that's, Let's do that. Um, this uh, vehicle is capable of carrying a full sheet of plywood, and the back is interesting because it has a 70-30 split. We found that if we split this, the ratio of the door, that nine out of ten tasks could be done just by opening one door, which we thought was uh, pretty novel. We also realized that if you did need to open this door, and it hung out no further to traffic than the rear view mirror. So it's actually another safety advantage feature uh, for the owner and operator of the vehicle. And again, you'll see again our uh, recycled tire material in here on the floorboard, very durable, very industrial, easy to clean, easy to wear. And this also, let's pause that for the light here, um, but you can see the rear motor there that's driving the rear wheels of the vehicle, uh, provided by a Bosch Getrag unit for us. 
coming soon with a company logo on it to a community near you. Jim Motivale reporting.